You're listening to Tarazi Tuesdays with the Bible is Literature. Hi, this is Father Mark Bulos, and you are listening to Tarazi Tuesdays with the Bible as Literature podcast. This week, Father Paul moves from his discussion of Leviticus to the Book of Numbers, but not before a brief excursus to unpack the original Hebrew names of the books of the law, which stress speaking aloud and spoken words, reflecting the content of the books themselves. I am happy to introduce Father Paul on the Bible as Literature podcast, Tarazi Tuesdays. These are the statutes and ordinances and laws. Notice that triple heaping, he uses three words that are parallel in meaning. Okay, the statutes, the ordinances and laws which the Lord made between him and the people of Israel on Mount Sinai by Moses. So please, I beg you, print out chapter 26, read it aloud and tape it, and then take it in your car so that you would hear yourself uttering the words of Leviticus chapter 26. And then after you will have done that for four months every day, you will conclude that the poor Tarazi is not to blame. The only one to blame is you and God. I am not to blame. And then chapter 27 we have an interesting chapter that deals as to how one is to remunerate someone else for misheading someone else's property. It speaks about the valuation of each person and animal and item so that you would repay say to the people of Israel when a man makes a special vow of persons to the Lord at your valuation then your valuation of a male and he goes and who's setting all this is God what is the function of this chapter right at the end of Leviticus 27 it sounds at first hearing as a let down after chapter 26 but its importance is to remind you that God is the Malik the proprietor of everything around you beginning with your family and your animals and whatever you have so it is God and not Molek who is the Malik. This is how I hear the function of this chapter. It begins with the human beings, then it moves to the animal in verse 9, then to the house in verse 14, then to the land in verse 16, or field in verse 17, and it becomes very clear that everything is ultimately the property of the one proprietor, the Malik, who is God. And again, at the end, you have a repetition of the ending of chapter 26, These are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses 
for the people of Israel and Mount Sinai. Interesting. Command and command, and you can hear it in English, is the same root. Tsiwe and Miswa. This being said, then we move to the book of Numbers that tell us about the trek of the people from Sinai to Moab beyond the Jordan as we shall hear in Deuteronomy 1.5 and with this we move to the book of Numbers now Numbers just to begin with the title to give you some information is the title that is found in the Septuagint but in the Hebrew the books were known when they don't have a famous person who is the center of the story of the book like Samuel and Isaiah and Jeremiah they were known by the first words that's how the Jews until now refer to the books of Moses the first one is called Bereshit which means in the beginning and this is how it is referred to now in the Septuagint because it moves to Greek they move to the idea of the creation the making and it's called Genesis and that's the name that we hear in the New Testament so the first one in Hebrew is Bereshit in the beginning that's the official name and then the second one Exodus again you can hear it from Greek to go out Exodus but in Hebrew it is named after the first words which is Ele Shemot Bnei Israel and thus it is Ele Shemot and these are the names of so you have in the beginning and then and these are the names that would be the name of the second book the third one again from the Greek via Latin we have Leviticus because we have the concentration as we have heard on the Levites the priests but in Hebrew the title goes by the first word Wayikra which means and God spoke unto Moses actually why Yikra means and he called out unto Moses and then why the bear Yahweh meaning and he spoke so the name of the book is why Yikra the fourth one again it's numbers because of the reason we shall talk about it of the census the numbering of the people that's why the Septuagint calls it numbers but in Hebrew it is after the first word why the bear Yahweh el Moshe so it is why the bear notice the previous one was why the fourth one is why the bear and then the fifth one is called Deuteronomy from the Hebrew Mishneh HaTorah a copy of the Torah and we'll talk about it but you know how in chapter 17 the Lord says 
you may have a king, but make sure that he would have a copy of my Torah with him, eh? which is carried by the Levites. So he has a copy, he does not have the original. Okay? And then it is the name that was given to the book. And people also refer to the second issuance of the law, and we shall talk about that. But then the title in Hebrew is Ele Haddabarim. Notice how the last three stress the speaking aloud, the speaking and the spoken words, which reflect the content of these books. This is what we have. The Bible as Literature is a production of the Ephesus School Network.